before we get going, if you didn't watch our first type form, definitely worth checking it out. But otherwise, away we go. The best way to make your form engaging is to make it feel as less like you're completing a form as possible and as much like you're interacting with another person. Uh, so to do this, you need to have a consistent tone of voice, your tone of voice, throughout the type form. So all the questions we wrote before are quite friendly. But if you see, for the first question, for the welcome screen, it said the button says start. So let's change that. Let's go to the settings for the welcome screen, which is here, question settings. And let's change this to let's begin. So we're really aligning it with our tone of voice of the questions. And then equally, if you go right to the end, we say, thanks for your feedback. You see, it says again, let's again align that with our tone of voice. So now we have consistent tone of voice throughout the whole, whole type form. So in question one, we asked for the respondent's name. So that means we can now use that name throughout the form to make it feel more like a conversation and less like a, a form. So just go to question two, click on where you want to insert their name, hit the at sign, and then straight away it comes up with what's your name. So when, when they go through now, it's going to pull their name from question one and add it in there. Descriptions help you to add more clarity to a question, to make sure the respondent doesn't misunderstand what you're trying to get at. So let's add one to question six. Let's go to the settings and let's add a description to make it a bit more personal. What you don't want is for all your respondents to have completed your form and then you look at the data and realise that a lot of them have skipped some of the questions. So what we're going to do is make sure that some of the questions aren't skippable. So for us, one of the biggest questions here is uh, what is your order number? So we're going to go into the settings for that and we're going to make that a required question. You'll see it puts an asterisk next to the question if it's required. And then obviously this is about getting their satisfaction. So let's go to the question settings there and make that required as well. Next, we really need to think if the questions themselves are really clear and easy to understand. So how likely is it that you would recommend the product to a friend or colleague? This can be misinterpreted in different ways. So what we're going to do is add some labels. So you go to the question settings, click on show labels, and we're going to put in descriptors that make it absolutely clear what the numbers represent. Now, finally, let's make this type form look good. So if you go to the left-hand side, you'll see different menu options. So we're currently in Builder. The next one down is Design. If we click that, you'll see that there are lots of public themes that you can click on to immediately convert the design of your type form. So we can click on this one here, a uh, fractal and that will immediately change the whole design of your your type form um, we can click this one which is school bell which also changes it immediately what you can also do is click on customize so if you go to customize you then have a choice of different fonts you, you can use and if your business has a specific color palette you can also change the colors to match exactly what you want it to look like but let's go to public themes I'm going to choose uh, Filofax and then close that down and the type form will automatic automatically save. And then let's go back to the welcome page. So this is the first thing that your respondent's going to see. So let's make this really engaging. Let's catch their attention. Let's see if we can add a visual. So if you go to the question, you tap image, you have access to loads of images. We want coffee because this is for our coffee product. We'll scroll down, find one that works for us. Perfect. Hit add, and that's going to be integrated immediately into your type form. And that's it. You've created a gorgeous looking type form that hopefully doesn't feel like a form and feels more like an interaction with a person. So send it out, sit back, and watch your answers roll in. If you want to try out the finished type form that I just created, you can. It's in the description below. And otherwise, if you found this video helpful, Please help us by giving us a like. Cheers.